I want to assure you people and assure the country, the economy is now on. If the foreign exchange plan of Tinubu's government is failing, I hope you know who to blame for, for it. I hope you know. Yeah, it is P2B and Atikwa Abubakar. <laughs> yes, you have to know because you don't want to be blaming the wrong people. If the subsidy removal that Tinubu announced on his first day has not brought any change <laughs> for the better in the price of petrol or the availability of uh, fuel, I hope you know who to blame. It is not no, 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 it's not Tinubu. Uh, it's not Tinubu's fault. It is P2B and Atiku Abubakar. I'm not the one saying this. It's your vice president, the honorable Kasim Shetima. Look at, look at him. Look at the headline. Yes. Yes, smart man. The man who promised to handle security while Tinubu handled um, the economy. Said it. That it was the idea, those were ideas of Atiku and Obi that his government, their government, was implementing. And, and <laughs> if it is not working, if it's not helping people, you should blame Obi and Atiku. Unbelievable. That's the kind of government people you have in government. The man has a point, though. He said that when they stole those ideas, they made every effort to steal the integrity required to implement them. Really? They tried. They said, still, they tried, still. Obi and Atiku hid that in an offshore island <laughs> where it is protected from government taxes and terrorists and drug dealers, money laundering. Who wrote this crap? Sasha! Who wrote this crap? Bad sons.